All right, welcome back. It's 6.54. Here are the four things you need to know before you head out your door this morning. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know <laughs> the Zags are in the final four. Hopefully you're not living under a rock. Our Jack Ferris and Dennis Patchen have been live all morning with us. We check in again. Here we go. Robin, it's a very interesting thing here. We, we know what the players are going to go through today. I, I'm not worried about that. I don't anticipate anything. My anticipation, Jack, is how many Zag fans are we going to see here today? Because we have heard they have, might have up to more than 100 former players for yeah, this event. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. I can't wait to see the, the, the red, white, and blue of the Zag Nation coming down, invading Glendale, Arizona, because after all, Dennis Patchen, we are 40 minutes away from playing in the national yeah. championship game. For Dennis Patchen, I'm Jack Ferris, KXLY4 News. All right, thanks, guys. Stay with KXY4 for all your Final Four coverage. Jack, Dennis, Will share Keith Thoso, live reports throughout the weekend. And you can get up-to-the-minute Zags coverage on KXY.com, Facebook, and Twitter. Just search KXY4. Spokane police arrested a high school student in connection with a bomb threat made at Ferris High School. They say a student at Ferris was in a text messaging argument with a student from another school. Now that student sent the Ferris student a text saying he could blow up the school or shoot it up. Officers responded to the student's home, collected his phone as evidence. He was booked for threat to bomb or injure property. A North Spokane facility that helps treat kids who have been abused or suffer from mental health problems is expanding. Excelsior was granted a conditional use permit for the project even though Indian Trail neighbors opposed it. They complained that Excelsior can't control the kids it already has, and the teens who run away commit property crimes in the area. Construction of a new building will get underway later this summer.